Welcome to the first update in year two. Some of the tasks we have are repetitive with the season, such as harvesting apples and making juice or freeing the land from brambles. Other tasks are one-time projects, hopefully, such as digging a trench or building a pellet press. You'll also get an update of the market gardening process. Slowly but surely, fall empties our market garden. Or to put it in another way, we empty the beds and since we didn't plan to grow many winter vegetables this year, they stay kind of empty. Not doing so was on purpose because the whole market garden is a big learning process for all of us and we'll take it step by step to establish a perfect market garden. <laughs> Anyway, right now we are preparing the beds for winter by sowing cover crops. This winter we try a mix of lucerne and clover, as well as the awesome phacelia. The cover crop will grow and stay during winter and will be mown and mixed into the soil in spring. Of course, there are still some plants in the market garden and we won't remove them just for the cover crops. But as long as the tomatoes still grow fruit, the cover crop can grow beneath them until they're done in some weeks. This year we weren't as lucky as last year, but at least we have some apples. Differently as our neighbors whose apple trees are blooming at the moment. So we harvested the apples we got over the last weeks. First, the apples need to get shredded into small pieces, therefore we throw them into the chopper. Now we put the outcome into a special net. This needs to get folded to prevent the goop getting all over the place. After that, we put a wooden board on top of it. Then that process repeats till there is either no space on top or no apples left to fill. Then it's time to start the machine. To preserve the juice, we boil it up, but honestly I doubt that it lasts that long. Because last year it was so annoying to clean up the kitchen, we did it outside this year. Then we filled the hot apple juice into the bottles after cleaning them. Altogether we got 35 bottles of apple juice.
Due to the rainy weather this year, everyone in our neighborhood had more than enough grass. So we received a lot of it for free. We are planning to compost it, as we need a lot of it anyway. For doing that, we have to move it. This is not too bad, as it gives us the opportunity to layer our compost. After our party, we felt the urgent need to clean up our basement and store a lot of stuff properly away in our garage. After all this cleaning up, we decided to treat ourselves with a little experiment. We wanted to see if we could use all the wood chips that we have and make a bricket press ourselves. For now this is just a prototype. What the end result looks like you may will see in our upcoming videos. Das ist voll gut, ja? Ich glaube es wow, es rinnt schon. We're getting glass fiber connection and for that we need to dig. The ground is dense and we only have one pickaxe. So I got to shovel the little rocks with my little garden shovel. Thank you. 